Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of stats. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that let the mean and the variance of the five observations x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 we have been given the mean for them is 24 by 5 and we have been given variance is equal to 194 by 20. Then further we have been told that the mean and variance of first four observations x1 to x4 the mean for that is given to us as 7 by 2 and variance is given to us as a further we have been asked to find the value of 4 times a plus x5 so we need to find the fifth observation's value and we need to find the variance of the first four observations and multiply it with 4 that will give us the value of this expression there are four options given to us as the answers for this expression that is 13 15 17 and last option given to us is so we need to figure out which one of the following four options is a correct answer for the question given to us let's solve this idea first so if i solve the first thing here i know mean of first five observations if i take it as sum of the first five observations so we already have the idea mean is nothing but sum of all the terms divided by number of terms. So number of terms in this case are 5. So we have been given mean of the first 5 observations as 24 by 5. So if I use that idea, 24 by 5 is equal to sum of all of them. 5 if I take it on the other side gets multiplied here. So you get sum of first 5 observations. That is equal to 20. So you have some of first five observations known. That is equal to 24. So this is your first equation you have. Now let's see the next idea. If I talk about the mean of the first four observations, that is also known 7 by 2. If I use that idea as well, I again know mean of first four observations. It is again the sum of first four observations upon total number of observations that are four. So mean in this case is given to us as seven by two into four. That is equal to sum of first four observations. That is x one plus x two plus x three plus x four. So sum of first four observations that is equal to two ones are two twos are. So you get that is equal to fourteen. So sum of first four observations, we got that as 14. So if I use the idea of equation 2, let's say this is equation 2, and if I use the idea of equation 2 in equation 1, and put sum of first four observations as 14, we get this is nothing but 14. So with this idea, I get 14 plus x5. That is the fifth observation. It's equal to so your value of the fifth observation becomes 24 minus 14, which is 10. So your value of the fifth observation is equal to 10. Now let's use the idea of variance and solve the question. We know standard deviation is given by root of summation of xi square by n minus x bar square. So this is the entire value we know where x bar is nothing but the mean of the observations. So if I use the first idea for first five observations, if I use the idea, we know Standard deviation is this and if I talk about the variance also here in this case variance is nothing but square of the standard deviation. So if I just find this variance as square of the standard deviation so square root and square will get cancelled and you will get at summation xi square by n minus the mean square. That is your value or the expression for the variance. Let's use this idea for both the conditions and find this. So variance of the first five observations we were known. It was given to us as 194 by 25. So if I use that idea, I get variance of the first four five observations that is 194 by 25. That is sum of xi squared. So x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square plus x4 square plus x5 square. 
divided by n, n in this case is 5, minus x bar square, x bar is nothing but mean, and mean of the first five observations was also given to us, 24 by 20. 24 by, not 25, it was 24 by 5, the whole square. So if I solve this further, I get this as 194 by 25 plus 24 square, that is 576 by 25. The whole thing, whatever answer you get, multiply that with 5. You get that as sum of all the observations, which are square. So x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square plus x4 square. Fifth observations value we already have with us. So let's put that as well. x5, we know the value for that x5. 10. So if I put that, then let's solve this. You have 25 in the denominator, multiplied with 5. 576 plus 194. So 580 plus 190, that is 770. So we get this idea as if I try to cancel this, 5 1s are 5 5s are 576 plus. 194, so you did 580 and 190, that is 770. So if I cancel, try to cancel 5 also with this. 5, 1s are 5, 27, 5, 5s are 25, 20, 5, 4s are 20. So 154 minus 10 square, which is 100. So you get sum of squares of most 4 observations. So with this idea, I have sum of squares of most 4 observations with me and that turns out to be 154 minus 100 which is 50. Once I have the sum of squares of first four observations, now if I just find the variance of first four observations, that is given by summation of xi square, that is sum of squares of first four observations divided by n, which is 4, minus x bar, that is mean of the first four observations, the square of that. Get 54 by 4, minus x bar, which is 7 by 2, so 7 by 2, the whole square. So with this idea, you get 54 by 4, minus 49 by 4. If I try to solve this further, you get 4 common 54 minus 49 by 8. So you get the answer as 5 by 4 here. And we have been given that variance of first four observations is nothing but the value as A. So I get the value of A as well from this expression that turns out to become 5 by 4. So I have A with me, 5 by 4. I have variance, not the variance, I have the fifth observation x5. That is also 10. So if I just find the value of the expression they have asked for, they have asked us to find 4A plus the fifth observation, so 4 into 5 by 4 plus 10. Solving this further, I get 5 plus 10, which is 4. So I get the answer for the expression here as 15. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, the option that matches here with the question is option B. So B is the correct answer for the question given to us. That is asking us to find the value of this expression. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on mean and variance here. So we just use the idea of mean first. With that idea, we got comparison of both the means for the first five and the first, the first four observations. Once we got some of first four observations, we put that in the first equation and got the fifth observation as 10. Then we just use the idea for the formula of variance. For the first five observations, we knew the variance. We got with that idea some of first five observations or sum of squares of first five observations. We put the value of the fifth observation as 10 and we got sum of the squares of first four observations. Once we got that idea as 54, we just found the new variance for the first four observations. That came out to become five by four. Once we got that as A, we got A as five by four and the fifth observation as 10. We just found the value of the expression that matches with option B. So B is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on stats. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JW mains as well as 11th and 12th. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, 
do like share and subscribe to my channel do share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on jw thank you